how to create and edit your existing policies. What you will do from the MOSS 360 home screen is hit security and in the drop down you should see policies. Once this comes up, you're going to see all the existing policies that you have in MOSS 360. So if there's a small change or something that needs to be updated on the existing policies or the devices that you have, you would locate what policy you need to edit and you would hit view underneath that policy. This will pull up a screen that has all of the settings and restrictions that you can update and change in MOSS 360. So for example, if you wanted to not require a passcode anymore for the device, right here on the very first one we have is passcode, we would need to hit edit. And instead of having a passcode policy, we would uncheck that. And if that's the only change that we needed to make, so we would be able to scroll down, double check there was no other settings or changes that we would need to make, we would be able to go up to the top and we would have to hit save and publish. Now, if you weren't sure if you actually want this out on the devices yet, you would just want to hit save. Just keep in mind that those changes will not come infect, infective on the devices until you hit save and publish. Once we hit save and publish, it will prompt you to type in your password. And then after you type in your password, it'll be able to make, it'll be able to make any changes that you need. If you are wanting to create a whole new policy, we would go back to security and policies. And we would want to hit add policy up in the corner. Now you would need to name the policy. So some examples are maybe if you have an Apple policy versus an Android policy so on and so forth, you would, or maybe an admin group. Those are different examples of the names. You would also then need to determine what type. So for example, we're gonna do this one for Apple devices. And then we would also want to know, maybe there's a policy that is for one specific group that we wanna start from. Most of their restrictions are gonna be what we want on this, just a few additional restrictions or a few less. We would pick what policy we want the base of it to be and that would be a great starting point. That's going to pull up all of those restrictions and then we can make those changes going forward. So a great example for this is if you have an admin group that has very minimal restrictions and maybe they're allowed to download applications but you need to have a front office group that has those same restrictions but they're not allowed to download applications, you would start from the admin group's policy create a new policy and make those changes and then publish it as that one for the front office.